Did Stephen Hawking accidentally prove we matter more than we think? Stephen Hawking said our universe began as a quantum event with many possibilities. So why did this one become real? Before I answer this question, I need to briefly go back to two fundamental quantum rules that will help us answer the question. One, the uncertainty principle, which states empty space can never be empty because saying it's empty means we have determined the particle's position and speed as zero. This violates the uncertainty principle of Heisenberg which means that there will always be particles that constantly fluctuate in empty space. The second one is Copenhagen interpretation. Particles exist in all possible states until it's observed or measured. Then one version becomes real. Let's get back to answering the question. Why did one possibility, which is the existence of our universe, become real among unlimited other possibilities? Because according to Hawking, our universe started as a quantum event in all possible forms, but only became our universe when we, intelligent observers, appeared. Doesn't that make humans or intelligent beings way more central than atheism would like to admit? Ahmed Al Hassan says in his book Atheism Delusion, since the entire universe is a system described by a wave function and a set of probabilities, it only becomes real when we observe it and the wave function collapses. This implies that we, as humans, or more broadly intelligence, is the center around which the universe was created. Therefore, Hawking's statement, we create history by our observation rather than history creating us, does not actually help him in proving that the universe does not need a creator. You see, this exact thing that Hawking is proposing actually backfires because it implies that our existence is a necessary condition for the existence of the entire universe. The universe exists for our sake, which implies purpose. And where there is purpose, there is a purposive agent. That's not science dismissing a creator, that's science pointing right at purpose. Another question may arise. What happened to all the other universes that didn't get observed? Did they just vanish? We'll talk about that next. For more, check out Atheism Delusion book by Ahmed Al-Hassan.